This is the uh, second part of WebTalk 4 in the M Plus WebTalk series. WebTalk 4 concerns cross lag modeling of panel data. Part 1 was posted in November 2021 and focused on continuous outcomes. The focus of this second part is categorical outcomes. Analysis with categorical outcomes in cross lag modeling is a new methods area of which little has been known. This web talk is a companion piece to a new paper by Tihomer Asparohov and me called Residual Structural Location Modeling, RSEM. The paper is posted on the M website. It describes new statistical techniques for continuous and categorical outcomes, as well as new M language. The web talk goes into more detail regarding practical applications of modeling categorical outcomes using panel data. It also discusses models other than those covered in the paper. To accompany this talk, a large set of M plus outputs are posted on the website. Slides two and three give the outline for the talk. In section one, I will go through examples from three different data sets. And the variables we're gonna take a look at are stress, alcohol consumption, suicidal ideation, substance abuse, and negative affect. The sample size is gonna range from around 300 to a little over 1,000. And the number of time points are gonna range from five to 10. In section two, I give a refresher of M plus web talk for part one. That is, I'll give an overview of analysis of continuous outcomes. And to exemplify that, I go through uh, an analysis of the stress outcome in the first data set. In section three, we turn to the main topic of uh, analysis of binary outcomes, and I'll give a brief introduction to the kinds of models that we have been using in that area and what we need to extend uh, for modeling panel data. In section four, I turn to data set two, which uh, features the binary outcomes of suicidal ideation and substance abuse. In section five, I turn to transitioning from the continuous to the categorical outcomes and from old to new M plus language for random intercept cross lag panel modeling, RICLPM. First, I'm gonna go through some technical aspects of modeling with binary outcomes using multivariate probit models. I'm gonna talk about the model specification, identification issues, estimation, and simulations to look at how it works in various settings. And then we come to the main uh, area of section seven, namely looking at panel models for binary outcomes. We're gonna start with univariate models, that is models for one process. And we're gonna analyze the data set to suicidal ideation and substance abuse variables. In section eight, we turn to the bivariate binary cross lag analysis. So the real cross lag analysis, which is the main topic of this talk. And again, we're gonna work with data sets two, suicidal ideation and substance abuse, and looking at the relationship between those two variables. In section nine, we turn to uh, the area of planning for future studies, trying to figure out how large the sample has to be and how many time points you want to uh, look at to get enough power to uh, estimate the key features of the model. In section 10, I'm gonna briefly go through some other analysis approaches, measurement error, observed Y as a predictor instead of latent Y star, and reciprocal modeling. In section 11, we make an excursion into a total different area, latent transition analysis, that is mixture modeling and latent classes, latent class membership that change over time. And we're going to take a look at mover stayer LTA, random intercept LTA, and bivariate LTA. And we're actually going to exemplify that with the um, suicidal ideation and substance abuse application and see what kind of findings we get in that setting and how they relate to the bivariate RICLPM model. In section 12, we turn away from the uh, binary case and go to take a look at ordered categorical, ordinal outcomes, so polytomous variables. 
and uh, working with not only the usual multivariate probit model but also a new two-part ordinal model that we introduce in this web talk which turns out to be very useful in uh, cases with ordinal outcomes. Section 13 we're going to take a look at trends and how they affect the uh, cross-lag modeling. We're going to look at different kinds of models to capture tra trend, latent growth analysis, longitudinal LCA, latent class growth analysis, and growth mixture modeling. And then in the final section, we're going to take a look at distal outcomes in the uh, cross-lag modeling, that is, later outcomes, and how those later outcomes are related to the uh, cross-lag model for previous time points.